someone well right where you are just lift your voice in one minute and pray lord show me the dimension that my destiny needs in this season reveal to me a dimension of you Kabarato sadiata let every other name fade away pray let every other name fade away until there's only you let every other name fade away are you praying for some of you is rafa the ministry god has given you he's given you a healing ministry but do you know the god that heals do you know the god that heals he's sending you as a financial apostle do you know the god that blesses or do you just have business ideas it will take more than a good business idea it will take more than a good proposal you will need to know the god that lifts god is sending you into leadership do you know the god that makes man the maker of the heavens and the earth is someone praying let every other name fade away let every other name fade away till there's only you hallelujah listen you must catch the dimension of god that your destiny requires there is a name of God that will support your assignment in life. Make sure you find it before that journey starts. You are a man of God. You must know the God who restores. You must know the God who can make men. You are a leader. If all you know is just the God that saves, congratulations, but you will fall short of your assignment. Life will ask you, who sent you? The names of God. The nation of Israel took time to study the names of God. As they sojourned from Egypt to the wilderness, every time they found the name of God, they would capture it. And they would give instructions and say, teach your children and your children's children. When they ask, why are we doing this? Tell them, once upon a time, God showed up in a certain way. We captured that experience. Any day you need him to show up like that again, call that name. That something happened in 2007. I would have died, but I called upon his name. Now that attack is coming again. That name is still there. The name of the Lord is a strong tower that the righteous can run. It's not just what I call. I can enter the name and I am saved. We know God when we know his names. There are names that God is called though. Brothers and sisters. There, there are dimensions of his power invested in his names. When you call him faithful, he does something to you. When you call him mighty God, he does something to you. When you call him El Shaddai, he does something to you. Ah. We make miracle walk, promise keep, light in the darkness, my God, that is who you are. We call you, say, the miracle worker. It's no longer a song. You are calling him to your life. Waymaker, miracle worker. Light in the darkness. The Lord is my light and my salvation. Of whom shall I fear? I will lift up my eyes to the hills, the psalmist said. 
from whence cometh my help he says my help i don't know where yours comes from but my help even with the pandemic my help comes from the lord not the landlord the lord who makes man who makes heaven who makes earth who makes man i tell you i i just sense a strong anointing just just sweeping through this place can you pray in the spirit in one minute I just sense that there's faith rising. Someone is shaking away every nonsense that the devil has spoken to you. Are you praying? Lift your voice and pray. This is a word conference in the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. Listen. You see, some of our mothers and our fathers they didn't have the opportunity to go to school and to be intellectually enlightened as we are but they knew something about god mama will get down on her knees and she may speak whether it's yoruba or Igbo, and call a name that she called before you were born they vowed to her and they said they said nobody gives birth in this family and while she was fasting and praying god came to her and gave her a name he said any day you are in trouble call this name Listen, your assignment is to use your life and give God a name that those coming towards you will study. He is not just supposed to stop as the God of Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob. It, the, the revelation of God to us, at the end of my life, I should be able to say I have seen God in this way. And the generations coming, study this name. Study this name. Promise keeper my light in the darkness that is who you are listen when you are in an uncomfortable situation don't just cry and shout and say god oh help me that's an emotional prayer with no power there is the name of god that is responsible if someone is sick and dying, you don't need Jireh. No, you need Rafa. There is a name. Rafa, reveal yourself to me. It says, I will call upon the Lord. I will call upon the Lord who is worthy to be praised. By doing that, I shall be saved from my enemies. Call upon the name of the Lord. In one minute, you are going to call upon the name that you know so far some of you there are names you have not called in a long time that's why some doors have refused to open lift your voice in one minute whether you will say it in english you say it in your local dialect call that name again the name you call him in your secret place the name you call him before gates that refuse to open the name you call him when it looks like your destiny is closing mighty God lift your voice and pray you are the covenant keeping God you are Covenant keeping God, Yahweh, the covenant keeping God. One more time, lift your voice, lift your hands. You are, you are the covenant keeping God.
Yahweh, Yahweh, the covenant keeping God. 